Well, hello, this is UL Abigail, and I would like to welcome you to our sixth episode of FTB Infinity Evolved. And you can see here, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I ran across several abyssal stone pockets down below while I was uh, trying to expand the mine area. And yeah, I wound up mining up a whole bunch of it. I'll go ahead down here real quick. I also added in these uh, wooden rails. Oops. Place that back down. Uh, I added in these wooden rails. I went with the wooden rails not only because they are easier to make, and I don't have uh, currently a rolling machine or anything like that set up, but also because they're a bit slower. So this way we can, you know, enjoy. Wow, that was really loud. Uh, well, anyway, yeah, I don't have uh, any type of system set up. I'm probably going to go ahead and continue it on into there and make like a junction room or something. But uh, yeah, I'm still still uh, moving things out. But yeah, I went ahead and extended the tunnel out this way. And when I got to the, the area over down there, I, I ran into this pocket up here and then I noticed that it went back in that direction so I went ahead and kinda of made my way up here a little bit decided I want to try to light it up and you know I'm gonna come back through and get these ores and that's whenever I saw this huge pocket I mean it was all the way up to there of his abyssal stone and I've been slowly clearing it out and sending it back up to the uh, surface there. So I'm not sure how far down this one goes or if it goes that way or what. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish mining this out You know, at some point off camera. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, we have a little bit of work to do. And, and uh, I'll head back up to the house and we will get started. Alrighty, you can see I have uh, went ahead and swapped out the granite for this uh, chiseled stone. So the sunken stone panel version. So yeah, that's the thing. And I went ahead and moved our machines over to here and also back here. Speaking of which... See, it was this chest right here, and we are out of room. All right, well, let's go ahead and smelt up this slag, or not. Anyway, uh, yeah, we've got quite a bit of work to do. What we are going to work on right now is a Coke oven. We need a Coke oven, or actually multiple Coke ovens, in series so that this way uh, we can produce either charcoal or coal coke and uh, we can then use the creosote oil to make our wooden rails because I'm wanting to uh, continue you know where we're where we're going with the you know down below there and in order to do that I'm going to need the creosote oil and I believe I've only got like five bottles of it that I'd found in a chest so yeah, we're going to work on that to start with. Now we got to decide exactly where we want to put this. And I'm thinking that I want to attach it to a tree farm. So, you know, either we're going to have to finish clearing out that area down below with the uh, abyssal stone and turn that into a tree farm slash coke oven and then uh, send the, the, the coal that has created the charcoal up this pipe automatically or we can create something out here and I'm thinking since I have quite a bit of an area out here I, it might be a better idea to go ahead and uh, do that out here that way we got something visual so we really need to, to decide where we want to place this and you know we don't want it too close to our property here because you know it, it, it would it would just obstruct our view of the area 
and we don't want it too far away because then it won't be loaded when we are here. So, oh yeah, also I went ahead and uh, cleared off most of that right there. I'm going to probably leave it at that level because I want to build something on top of it, some type of a, a tower or lighthouse or something there. I'm not sure yet. Maybe some spires with, you know, like some uh, a beam coming out of it or something. Uh, but that's going to have to wait until I can get some uh, liquefied glowstone, you know, in a crucible furnace. Melt, some, melt down some glowstone and drop a bucket of it down. And I guess it uh, sends a pillar up to the sky, a beam of uh, light. So, yeah, we're probably going to do that at some point, but not, not today. So, uh, uh, taking a look at the terrain here, however, in regards to the, the, the uh, Coke oven, I kind of like the look of this right here. It's already kind of sunken down a little bit, and it looks like we could put a row of these Coke ovens running this way, back and forth. And it would still be close enough to be loaded, and we could have a tree farm running and automatically feeding into it. If, I, if I'm correct, it will automatically feed into it with uh, various pipes. And then, of course, we can take the liquid out of it, the creosote oil, and, and store it in barrels. And then we can set up an automatic processing uh, system for that as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, I have been collecting bricks. Uh, I've been collecting clay and then smelting them into bricks uh, because I was intending on building something out of uh, brick blocks but this is actually a, a more useful uh, use for those bricks at this time. We can actually do something with bricks later. So uh, I've got a couple of stacks. Where are they? Where are they? Down here? Yeah, I got, uh, what, one, two, three, four and a half stacks. And I have some sand there and some here. And I've been grinding cobblestone down to make sand here. So, go ahead and fill that back up. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and make some coke bricks. Do that real quick. We got 41 of them. That's enough for several. So let's go ahead and head out there and start placing these down. Alrighty, we are at our location now. Now what we need to do is we need to decide where between here and here we want to place these. And I'm thinking we may want to just go ahead and place them right up against this back wall right here. And that way we'll have this front area that we can do stuff with. Because we want, we want the front of it to be facing this way. Yeah, I think we'll do that and then we can build our tree farm either back there or up there. So, yes, you're going to have to move, little guy. You're, you're in the way. So we'll start our very first one up against this corner. Go ahead and clear this out a little bit. And we're going to build several. So we know we can fit one there, one there, Yeah, I think eight of them will do for now. So yeah, we'll go ahead and build eight of them. So yeah, we do not have enough of these bricks to make all of the of the uh, Coke ovens. But, yep, that's it for that. We'll have to go ahead and uh, go out, get some more clay, get some more, you know, grind up some more cobblestone into sand, and I will be back.
All right, now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and uh, continue making this uh, first one anyways. And that one is done. Don't know if we have enough for this one. We probably do. Yes. So, we've got two Coke ovens built so far. And uh, it's time to go out and start uh, getting some clay because we are now out of bricks. So, yeah. I'll have to find a location that's got some clay and I will be back. Alrighty, well, we are way out here. We went ahead and uh, traveled all the way up to here and filled in some land while we were at it. And we've got us a bunch of clay. So we are going to head back home and start cooking this up. Alrighty, well, I've got most of the Coke ovens built. We're still grinding up some sand over there. But I figure while we wait, we might as well see if we can't uh, clean up some more of this lava over here because we do not want to fall in. Definitely don't want to fall in. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm just looking for the best way to get down. And I'm thinking right here would be good. So, we'll go ahead and set up our uh, portable tank right here. And we will start grabbing the lava out of here and filling this up. Alrighty, I believe I have the last of the Coke bricks. So we'll go ahead and get these placed in. And I actually made one too many. Alright, well anyway, there we go. Uh, we have all, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them done. And uh, now we got to figure out exactly uh, how we're going to hook these things up. And I'm thinking that I want to hook them up from behind back here. And I want to use item ducts, clear item ducts. And in order to do that, we're going to need either a bunch of obsidian, which would be ground up to make hardened glass, or we're going to need nether quartz to make fused quartz. And I don't know, I kind of fancy a trip to the nether. You know, we can use some more uh, a nether rack and stuff because we will eventually be making a magma crucible and magmatic dynamos. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do that now. So I'll meet you there. Alrighty, here we are. Go ahead and uh, harvest as much of this stuff as we can without dying, hopefully. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue going in a straight line there and see how far I can go. Alrighty, well apparently yeah, I forgot that in this mod pack it has the uh, explosive properties to the nether ores and apparently it angers the pigmen when you mine it. So we are going to avoid mining these until these pigmen despawn and uh, we're going to come back with silk touch. Well we managed to get quite a bit of uh, nether quartz and we're going to go ahead and head back now. I believe we've went ahead and uh, despawn the angry pigmen because I was not attacked on my way back here but uh, we're being camped by a ghast right now so yeah I don't have a weapon with me that can affect that ghast uh, no bow or anything no arrows or nothing so yeah we're gonna go ahead and head on out of here alrighty so now we are getting ready to make our item ducks and stack and a half not too bad not too bad and see we also need to make servos And that's going to require some glass, some redstone, some nuggets. So we'll go ahead and do however many this will work out to be. So we've got some glass around here. Yes, we do. This is just to get us started. 
16 of them. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and rest this night away, and then we'll head out there and start working on uh, how we're going to set this up. Well, that's good news. The item ducts do actually connect properly, so we'll go ahead and set these up real quick. And I'm not sure if I want to just uh, have it go across. Yeah, probably would be the best idea to go ahead and just have them go across the top, but not there. We want them to go one higher. This way it only connects in one location. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all hooked up. And we're going to go ahead and use that chest over there just as a test to see how this looks. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to put some uh, pine wood in here and see what happens. Looking good so far. And it is working. Nice. Perfect. Alright, well anyway, now uh, we do have some of these uh, temperate fluid ducts and we are going to collect the creosote oil and I'm not sure if I want to hook it up with one barrel for every two yeah maybe I'll do that that might be the better way to do this so it would be set up just like this with the barrel the drum right there set up a servo on each side and turn them on and when this produces some uh, creosote oil it should be transported into here and there we go nice alright so all I have to do now is make four or three more rather of the barrels. Later we may route it around the back or over the top or something like that but for now this will work just fine. Alrighty I went ahead and set up a uh, second item duct coming out of the middle here with a servo to automatically extract the coal or the charcoal and I want it's going along here and we'll wind up in this here uh, barrel so as soon as these arrive I'll go ahead and lock this barrel to where only those can go in and we'll go ahead and pretty well call this done for the most part we can you know skin it up later and you know make it look fancy or whatnot but for now it is functional and like I said I'll just go ahead and add the rest of those uh, item ducks in and we'll worry about uh, building the tree farm in the next episode because I do believe we have reached the end of the limit the time limit for this episode so I do hope you enjoyed and I thank you for watching I look forward to seeing you in the next episode until then this is you Abigail saying have a great day